Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a first impressions try on haul for Chic Me. They were a clothing line that popped up on my ads a lot on Instagram because you know they're tracking us. And a lot of their stuff just looks really cute and they got me <laughs> basically. Um, should have read the reviews first and just like all of the complaints that showed up or Anyways, it's safe to say I probably will not be ordering from them again just because of how long it took and their just how everything transpired. So I had I have two orders actually. I ordered once and then I saw a couple more things that I liked afterwards and then I ordered like a couple days later not thinking that I would run into so many problems but just never again. Anyways, so my first order was placed on April 4th and then I didn't get a notification until like a couple weeks later saying Oh, some of your stuff is out of stock, but we'll be restocking them soon So hang tight and I was just all like Why did it take you so long to get back to me that it was out of stock? And shouldn't your website have been updated to say that those items were out of stock and I just don't like how my order was separated and things were coming at me at different times like there were different packages and so I just felt like it was really disorganized I get that they're probably warehouses that they get different pieces of clothing from and that's probably why the packages were split but I just felt like they had failed on their part to update me as to when things were coming things that were out of stock and just a lack of communication in general like even when I reached out to customer service and I asked them like a week afterwards I was just all like hey how come I haven't gotten any updates yet would you mind checking on my order for me it just took them a really long time to get back and then even with the second package I felt like they weren't updating me on where it was and just when it was gonna get to me so I the lack of communication and their customer service I feel like could use a lot of work. Um, but let's go ahead and open the package and see what we have. I did open two of them already because those came first. Like I said, things were just coming at me at different times. Um, but the bulk of it and all of the bulk of it came, not the bulk of it, all of it came. So I'm just going to go through them with you guys. So this was, this is one of the items that came first. It's the TikTok leggings that everybody is buying off of Amazon. I actually got a pair before it blew up in the color purple off of Amazon and I just thought it was okay. Like it did have a little bit of, of an illusion of making my booty look bigger but I just didn't like the compression very much and this is the same thing. It's like it has like a tiny band up here. It doesn't- I don't have the problem of it rolling down or anything or giving me a muffin top but that is something to consider if you are trying to buy this like this just this like one inch band right here that goes across and the compression isn't all that great um, so if you're looking with, for something with more suctiony feeling this isn't it um, but it feels really nice it's a very stretchy I'm normally a size small ordered a small probably could have sized down on this but let me try this on for you guys to see it is high-waisted I mean, it does make my booty pop a little bit. The reason why I bought it off of here as opposed to Amazon is because they offered a discount, which was like 43 or 47% off. I can't remember off the top of my head. So these came out to 1025 and on Amazon, I think it like starts at 17. It might have gone up by now, but yeah. So I just wanted a color like this. And they're pretty comfortable, so this is something that I am going to keep. So let's move on to the next item. Okay, so I'm just opening up the bag now from the my first order of items. I'm sorry if it's loud, like I have my laundry going right now. Let's see what to try on first. Alright, so this is going to be the button design long sleeve slit cover-up. Um, in the size medium and this came out to 1823. I just wanted a cute cover up to wear when 
when summer comes around it is already starting to get hot but when i go to the pool or the beach or anything i just wanted a cute cover up this is what it looks like it actually feels pretty nice and i don't mind it being sheer i was expecting it to be just because i'm only going to be using this as a cover up or something to wear on the outside with maybe like a pair of jeans or something but this actually feels pretty nice let me try it on for you guys i'm actually really liking how oversized this is and flowy it just feels really nice almost silky but it's not and they have little buttons here where if you want to roll it up, you can just button it so it's more of like a short sleeve almost. But this is a keep for me. Pleasantly surprised. I really like how soft it is. Alright, so this next one is the dress that popped up on my feed that made me click on their website to check them out. It is the Mock Neck Plain Sleeveless High Slit. I got this in the size small and it came out to 1310 after the discount. So as, as you can see, like if you apply the discount, I feel like a lot of the things are very affordable. It's just the shipping and communication I just not agreeable with me. So it's like a long maxi dress with like, what do they call this? A mock neck. And the outsides are cut right here. And I mean, it looks a little bit see-through, a lot see-through actually. Um, let's try it on and see how it looks. I'm a little bit scared, but we'll give it a go. I actually think this is super flattering. It's not a lot of compression, very stretchy, and it shows a lot of skin. Um, I do have one of those sticky undies that I can like wear in between my legs, just for like, you know, a little bit of security, I guess. But I think this is super cute, like, but you have to be comfortable with showing your skin a little. Um, let me step further back here. Like I said, it doesn't have a lot of um, like compression or security, but I don't, I'm not bothered by it. It's super cute. Okay, this is a keep for me. I was, I was like, this is, this was one of the things that I was super hopeful of. So I'm really glad that it worked out and I feel like this up here makes it look very chic, almost. I just feel like with this, if there was a little bit of wind, my butt might be exposed, but I don't know, I really like it. So I'm gonna be keeping this. Let's try on the next thing. All right, so the next thing we have is a plain pocket design blazer coat and skirt set and this came out to 23.36 and I got it in the color pink and the size medium. Ooh, that's so soft. Okay, so it comes with a skirt. This, it's almost like a velvety feel but not velvety silky feel it does feel a little bit thin but it's not see-through and the coat is the same matching color and it has shoulder pads we'll see how that looks on me <laughs> there's some thread sticking out but nothing i can't snip let's go ahead and try this on i'm definitely not wearing a proper top with this but this is very chic and flattering there's like a little bit of stretch to it even with the bottoms I feel like I probably could have gotten a small, but they don't let you pick between sizes. I not I would have gotten a small but kept the medium top. They just it's just one size and they send you both. But I feel like this is super like classy, elegant, and it's really soft. And I do like that it has a little bit of stretch in it too. Are the pockets real? No, the pockets are fake. But I just don't have some anything like this and I'm not a pink person at all. So I thought I would try something a little bit new and outside outside of my comfort zone and I'm really glad I did. The shoulder pads aren't too much. I look like a businesswoman. <laughs> Super cute. I'm going to be keeping this. Ooh, something that I wanted to add on this piece is the skirt. It is like this second layer down here is kind of short. So I feel like if you don't take care of it properly, it might like come up and 
do that. <laughs> so that's something to keep in mind as well after washing it and everything. I am definitely going to have to sew this a little bit. But yeah, just wanted to add that. <gasps> oh, excuse me. <laughs> okay, so next I'm going to be trying on these two at the same time because one's a cover-up and one's a um, one-piece swimsuit. The the glitter bleh, the glitter long sleeve long line cover up I got in the size medium in the color apricot and this came out to 11.39 and the swimsuit is a lace up plunge one piece swimsuit and I got that in a medium in, in the color black and this came out to 11.96 so let's open this up see I, I don't think you can really tell what it'll look like without me trying it on but it's like a lace up lace up in the center right here and then after the cover up I would say this is like an apricot color it's almost like this mesh material that's see-through and it's long and glittery and I was just vibing with it when I saw it I do feel like I have to be careful just like slipping it on and off because I feel like it could tear easily Let's give it a go. Okay, so I think the swimsuit was made for people with a shorter torso because I tried to get it on and I could barely cover my boobs. So I'm gonna be returning this. Um, but I'll post a picture for you of what it's supposed to look like. And as for this, I think it's really cute. I'm gonna be keeping it because it's just so flow flowy. And I feel like I could wear it as a cover up for a lot of things. But the only thing I will say is it doesn't have any like portholes to stick the ribbon in so that it kind of stays in place if you do decide to just like lose it but that's the only thing with this I probably just won't use this because of that because I'm gonna lose it <laughs> to be honest um, but that was the first package or the first order that I put in and um, it took over a month to get here this order came out to 88.29 which isn't bad for like six items so I'm not mad. Let's go on to the next order and see how things fare in that one. All right, so the reason why I placed a second order was because of this dress that I thought was super cute and I had really high hopes for it. And I also think their website, or like they filtered through their reviews because I saw nothing but good reviews on this item and I was just all like, oh my gosh, I have to try this. But when I got it, I was so so disappointed like the same thing happened with this one all my packages were split up there was like three different packages um but this one was one of the ones that came first and this is what the dress is supposed to look like um this is what it looks like in person it's just a very sheer I feel like you definitely cannot wear this out unless you're like I wouldn't wear this out like if you're confident in yourself and you want to wear it out wear it out I feel like if you did have this it's more of like a lingerie piece to wear inside the house um, but just this wire part right here is so uncomfortable and I tried to bend it to like fit me better but it just didn't and I and my nips were just coming out and it was just so unflattering on me like I don't even want to try it on because I just I did not like it so this is one of the things that, that I'm going to be returning um, if you want to know it is the spaghetti strap sheer mesh mesh slit midi dress in the color black and this is in the size small um, returning this for sure oh this was 13.44 but <sighs> was very disappointed in this like Okay, I'll try it on just to show you guys, but it's so ugly. Okay, so here it is. As you can tell, this is like, it just doesn't sit very well. And if I'm not careful, my nips are going to pop out. And just like the side right here, flaps out a lot. There's no support. Sorry, I'm like listening for the maintenance guy because um, he's walking in and out. And I just, I would feel awkward if he would one see me in this and two see me filming so trying to keep an, an ear out for that um, but yeah I just feel like it's very unflattering very sheer I would never wear this out 
<sighs> yeah, this is just what this looks like. The next package that came in, which I've already tried on, is this little piece right here. It's supposed to be like a long sleeve dress kind of thing. It's the low cut lace up pocket casual sweatshirt. And the color is super off compared to what it is online. This I got in a size large because I just wanted to wanted it to be a bit more oversized and it came out to $13.75. So I will try this on for you. Alright, so this is what this looks like. It's a bit redder than in the picture like I showed before. Um and I wish the laces were a bit thicker. They're pretty thin and you have to lace them up yourself, which is fine. Um I feel like it doesn't really give me a shape. I'm just like a blob. So debating on whether or not I want to keep this. Eh, we'll see. I'm debating on it. But I do like that it has little pockets. That's like something unique. But this is just mediocre to me. So I feel like I might be returning this. But I will let you guys know at the end of the video. The maintenance guy with the Home Depot to grab a couple things, so I'm trying to get this review done before it gets back. Alright, so this is the third package that came in. The first one I got is a pleated high rise mini skater skirt in the size small in the color white, and this came out to $11.20. So let's give this a try. So it looks like this. It's like a little tennis skirt almost and I just I wanted something like pleated like this so let's hope it fits well I will say this is really cute I did have a little bit of a hard time getting it over my waist just because the zipper doesn't go down that far where it gives you a lot of space um, it is double layered down here the layer down here is a little bit sheer so and it it cuts off right at the bottom of my booty so i feel like if i were to bend over i would be flashing people so that's something to be mindful of but i do really like this i think it's really cute and it makes me look like cinched so i'm gonna be keeping this and just being conscious of where i bend over or how i bend over um but let's go on to the next one my hair was already wild because i have product in it right now that i need to wash out by the end of the day and you can tell that like after trying on clothes it's getting messier and messier um, but the next thing I want to be trying on is this cut out front sleeveless, sleeveless, sleeveless top I got this in the color white in the size small and it came out to $7.28 I have a feeling I might be returning it because it does look a little small but we'll see how it turns out and it looks very sheer oh so it's two pieces So these are the two pieces and I guess you overlap them. So let me just try it on really quickly for you guys. All right, so this is what this looks like. I think the concept is very cute, but as you can tell, it's very sheer. I'm wearing pasties on right now and I this is just too sheer for me. Not a lot of support. Um, and yeah, I like the concept of it, but this is I think this is something I'm just going to be returning because I don't see myself wearing it. But if I see something like this elsewhere that's not so sheer, I'll probably be getting it. But yeah, it just doesn't pro provide a lot of support or coverability. <laughs> so that one's that. Let's go ahead and move on to this lace-up off-shoulder ruffle brunch dress this is $13.44 and I got it in the color black in the size small okay so this is what this looks like right here it's like a little dolly dress a lot of runches and ruches I just thought it was very cute so let's see if I can squeeze into this itty bitty piece all right he ended up coming back so I just closed my door but anyways this is what the dress looks like on. I think I'm gonna be returning it just because it's not really my style. I think it's cute and everything, but 
yeah, it's just like not to my liking, not my taste in dresses, but maybe it is yours. The material is actually pretty nice, nice quality, very soft. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna be returning this because it's not my style. Alright, just a couple more items. Thank you for bearing with me. Um, the next two are going to be bathing suits. This one's a thin strap cut out waist one piece it's in the color white and I got this in the size medium and it came out to $11.20. So it's going to be this one. Material feels pretty thick but it doesn't feel like a high-end swimsuit, if you know what I mean. But we'll give this a go, we'll try it on. All right, that one wasn't gonna work for me. I could not get it over my head, and it also didn't come with that hygienic tape on the bottom, so I wasn't gonna try to squeeze into that. So I'll be returning that, but the next piece I am trying on is this two-tone spaghetti strap knotted bikini set in the size medium. And this came out to 1064. So let me show you what that looks like. Okay, so I'm trying it right now and it doesn't feel that great of a quality. I do like the uniqueness of it with the two toned colors and patterns and everything, but I just feel like it's not up to my standards. So I'll probably be returning this as well. I'll post a picture of what. It's supposed to look like <laughs> but I just feel like it's gonna easily slip off of me when I'm out recreationally and I'm just kind of like meh about it so I'm gonna be returning it and yeah let's go through the return process and see how easy that is Alrighty, it has been like three days since I've filmed the try-on portion of this video and I've just been trying to contact customer service in regards to how the return works because I was able to get the return label but it's just like very plain and basic and it doesn't say like whether or not I should use like US USPS, UPS, FedEx, DHL, it's not very um, precise on that so I was just wondering if there was a specific one that they required um, and it just takes a day for them to get back with a very basic response like I've been trying to chat with them through Facebook Messenger and it's an automated response and then an agent get back to you if the automated response can't answer which is kind of annoying because each time I type something new the automated response comes up um, so in this case it's like I have two different orders and two different things that I want to return well two different bathing suits because you can't return bathing suits because hygienic purposes of course but it was just all like it didn't come with the hygienic tape and I don't know so I was just asking them if it was okay to return it because it didn't come with the hygienic tape and they were just all like oh no but we can give you 10% back and a five dollar coupon or something to use on your next order and then I was just like why would I want to spend more money to save and this is like after the fact and I was just not like in my head I'm like never ordering from you again for one and two there's already better coupons out there to use on your website than just a 10% off so that was just kind of annoying and um, I'm just gonna wash the suits very thoroughly um, and then just return the other things but they still haven't gone back to me on how to return it and if I should just go to any postal service store so we'll see how that goes. I just like I just want to return everything and get rid of the stuff and not ever deal with them again. <laughs> like I wish they were more that they were easier to work with because some of the stuff is cute, but overall I wouldn't buy from them again. It's just too much of a hassle and they're not that great. I feel like there's better stores out there that have better customer service and quality. So, especially at that price range. So, um, that is my update on them. I'm going to close out this video and work on returning these items. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed that, please don't forget to click that like and subscribe button. And comment down below to say hi. I'll catch you guys in the next video.